So it's probably negative 25 degrees Celsius here, or negative 13 Fahrenheit. Uh, it's January, and uh, I'm currently getting ready to weld up this uh, horizontal joint with uh, dual shield flux core. So yeah, let's see how it goes. So that's my uh, new Outlaw leather shield right there I just put on. I did a video on it. That got like 5,000 views, but uh, I hate that helmet, and uh, I'll do a video on that later. So uh, yeah, it's all a dual shield uh, multi-pass flux core uh, horizontal weld. You can see I'm buffing it right now. Uh, a lot of wire wheeling, which is nice. You just run the wire wheel and gets rid of pretty much everything. But uh, yeah, you're able to run some nice long passes. This is one of the early uh, joints we were doing. Uh, they took us like a day and a half when we first started on welding these. And by the end of the job, uh, the same diameter tanks as the ones I'm in, the, uh, in that video. I think we were killing them in like five hours but a little less than that possibly but yeah it's uh it's like about 53 feet uh, all the way around and uh you split it up between three guys and you just weld but uh pretty continuous but by the end of the job we had him down just perfect uh you can see i'm wearing a respirator uh, when I'm welding dual shield flux core, I always wear a respirator. It is just crazy smoky. You got to change out your clear lenses like all the time, and I'm changing those filters out in that uh, 3M mask like once every two days. Like they were just eating shit. So I don't know if you've noticed yet, but uh, I'm not pushing any of this. Uh, it's all I'm dragging uh, the puddle on every clip. Uh, that's because uh, for stuff like this, I don't push my flux core. Uh, one, you can't really rest the nozzle against the shell to push, so it's uh, a lot more difficult to keep your beat straight. And two, it's like so much faster to drag and it lays in so much nicer. It looks much better on long hauls like this. When you're welding, you know, a couple, multiple feet at a time, and you're going from one, instead of a one foot pass, you're doing up to, now one guy was doing, I don't know, 17 feet in one go, overheating the whole nozzle and everything, but yeah, 17 feet in one go. And uh, dragging just makes it that much better. You pretty much, uh, it's, uh, you put your nozzle against a shell and hold a small angle and it works out pretty good. So here I think I'm grinding out some porosity. Uh, that was a reoccurring problem we had. Uh, I didn't have it too much. I only got, I'm not gonna, I got porosity sometimes but not very often. Other guys every single joint they were doing they're getting constant uh, sometimes six feet long passes full of porosity and uh, uh, one of the main contributors I think is uh, too far of a distance with your nozzle or you know because uh, there could be a small breeze in there and then if you don't have your nozzle close enough obviously it'll blow away your shielding gas but that and uh, the backing strip to the plate uh, obviously the backing strip overlaps the back of the plate a little bit and between there there was uh, dirt and road salt contaminating it so basically you couldn't actually grind it out because it was between that uh, between the backing strip and the bottom of the back of the plate so you can't get in there uh, we had it wasn't porosity it was more like uh, wormholes it was like these holes full of uh, full of dirt that would end up in your weld it looked like little worm tracks but not the usual ones you sometimes get with flux core these ones were full of like rusty dirt and stuff even after you know, making it look like a mirror with a grinder. Just it would penetrate through that steel and then get to the part of the backing strip that you couldn't reach, and it would suck that dirt into the weld. So we ended up uh, fixing it by uh, going around and using a uh, uh, eighth-inch disc and prepping the backing strip and digging down between the backing strip and the 
the actual plate itself. So that ended up working out. Uh, there was one one section we did. Uh, me and this other guy rooted it all with 7018 because the flux core couldn't. It was just contaminated like crazy. And then the second you get the 7018 in there, it can burn that all out perfectly fine. And the 7018 root pass was great. Here's my finished uh, cap. Uh, it's a four pass cap. You can see it's definitely not perfect. It's a little wavy in spots, and you can see there's. Uh, Kind of few stop and starts in the middle right there. You can see it's a little wavy on that top pass, but overall it came out very nice. And here's a shot of me just running down the whole thing, wire wheeled it all up, and uh, yeah, that's my part done. This is one of the last sections I welded. Uh, you can see the weld is significantly better, and it's bang on right here. Uh, it shows that over time you get practice, and uh, you can just kill it. And I would say that's. Very nice horizontal flux core for a field weld, definitely.